Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It was posted by My Math Solutions. So let's solve it. We have two rectangles and a triangle that we know the area. And we're trying to find the area of this last triangle. I think there's a lot of different ways to solve this, but I want to share with you what I ended up doing. I called this side X, this side Y, this side Z, and this side W. So let's start with this rectangle. X times Z is equal to 15. And after we divide both sides by X, we get Z is equal to 15 over X. And then if we go to this rectangle, Y times W is equal to 12. Divide both sides by Y, and we get W is equal to 12 over Y. So now let's update this Z to make it 15 over X, and let's update the W to make it 12 over Y. And then let's get rid of this stuff. Now let's look at this triangle. The area of a triangle is one half base times height. So this is going to be one half X times Y equals nine. And after we multiply both sides by two on the left hand side, we get X, Y. And on the right hand side, we get 18. This looks important. So let's put a box around it. Now we're ready for the question mark. Since it is the area of a triangle, it's going to be equal to one half base times height. And if we turn our head sideways, we'll get to think of the base is equal to 15 over X and the height is 12 over Y. And now we're just multiplying fractions. One times 15 times 12 is equal to 180, and two times x times y is equal to two xy. And we can simplify this. 180 divided by two is equal to 90, and then we still have the xy. Earlier we figured out that x times y was equal to 18, so I'm gonna change this into an 18. And then 90 divided by 18 is equal to five, and it's gonna be centimeters squared. And that's the answer to our question. The area of this blue triangle is equal to five centimeters squared. Let's make it bigger and put a box around it. How exciting.